Okay, so this is super easy to do. I'm just going to go through this quickly. But once you have your label created to, or whatever your product is, to put it into a 3D object, all you are going to do is you need to make sure that all of your layers are selected or you can merge them together. And then you just simply go up here and you go to 3D and you go to new shape from layer. And let's say, so I want mine to be a soda can for this and it will automatically just turn it into that. So you gotta make sure that you create your full label that way. So then I come down here to the 3D tool and you can go around and do this. Now the only thing that's a little bit different now that it's like this, I can't make um, changes to this label. Um, you can do some certain things like using the magic wand tool in some areas and trying to select some things, um, but it's going to be kind of difficult. You can use the brush tool and let's say you wanted to fill something in, it's actually kind of cool. Um, depending on the layer you can change some things but it's a little bit more difficult to do that okay um so now let's talk about um actually let me show you how different objects might look so let's say here it will adapt to whatever you need which is kind of cool i'm gonna undo that show you another one Okay, so that just kind of shows you how those can be different. So um, kind of cool. But I'm going to go back to my soda can here. Okay, so like some of these, some of the shapes have different things that you want to change with them. Like mine, I don't really like that this top of the can and the bottom of the can is white so you can change with these settings a little bit with these effects so if I just double click on this oops double click down here sorry um, it will bring you to this menu here okay so up here um, you just gotta look for that so you can play around with the different settings in here that it will change it. So you can you see that it adds a new texture to it. Um, so you can do lots of different things like with that, okay? And so it's not, and you can download your own into that, which is super easy. Um, or um, some of these ones here, that's how you download it. But I want mine to just be a solid color, but I don't want it to be this grayish color let's see there I want it to be kind of like um, a pinkish color that goes along with the setting okay so maybe that's more of what I would like I don't really like that in there so I'm gonna hide that okay there we go so, um, you can add a few changes with it, and it's super easy to do. Um, go ahead, feel free to check out more of these settings. There are some different options in here that you can use, um, but for this, you'll for this first project here, you guys are just want, going to want to keep it simple.